Alright Bromies, it's your boy Ricky here with Bromero Cards and oh my gosh, I have to say I am so excited for this video because I am bringing you some pieces of the new release from Simon Says Stamp Out of This World. Simon Says, Simon Says Stamp asked me to be a part of the Simon Says Stamp family, so here I am making a video for them for the first time. I am super excited. I'm going to show you guys how to make this lovely card today. Yeah. That's right, using lilac clusters and a bunch of oxides. I'm gonna show you how to make this card on some black watercolor paper. It really pops. If you could see it in person, it would definitely be a lot better, but you're gonna watch me make it in the video. It's a lot more clear, and so sit back and relax. Enjoy this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, uh, click that bell so that you know a new video is coming out, and let's get started making the card. Okay, let's get started. We are going to be using some white paper along with some black watercolor cardstock. We're going to be using a die here for you by Simon Says Stamp. And we're also going to be using this new embossing folder and it is called Lilac Clusters. And this is a really deep indented uh, embossing folder and I look forward to playing with it. Here we're going to be using Wilted Violet, Villainous Potion, Shaded Lilac, Twisted Citron, Lucky Clover, Honey Bee Stamps Metallic Gold, and Metallic Silver. We're going to be using all of these inks and blending on top of the black cardstock. So we're going to go ahead and get those set aside, and then we're going to go ahead and get started here. We will place the black paper in the embossing folder. And then we will run that through our die cutting machine as we normally do uh, to get a really good impression on this. Sometimes you could spray this with water if you want even more, but I found that this was fine. There was no issue. So now we're going to be doing a bunch of ink blending. We're going to take Villainous Potion and we're going to take the, little, the ink blender here and we're just going to lightly press it along the paper here. And it's not going to show up. It's not going to be major here because we're going to be building up a bunch of different colors. So I'm taking the color here and just lightly putting it on all the raised areas. You can also press down a little bit and kind of like pounce it if you wanted to do that as well. Um, it's not going to hurt anything because basically what we're looking for is the, um, the peaks of this image to be colored. And it's okay if the valleys are colored because it's going to be covered by a bunch of different inks. I think we do uh, four inks on these lilacs. So we're gonna do the same process in just a different color. So now we'll use Wilted Violet, which is a little bit lighter, and we'll place that all along uh, the shaded area as well. And as you can see, it looks a little lighter in some places and darker in others. And that's the effect that we're going for. We want, a bum, like, we want highlights, basically, is what we wanna do, and that's what we're building here. And we're just continuing to build color onto this black cardstock because it's really, really, solid black here. Up next we'll use shaded lilac and then here is where you start seeing a lot of the highlighting. It starts showing up, it looks really nice, um, but we're not going to stop here because we even have an even better color that's going to make this um, pop out even more. And it's actually darker than this and I actually decided to use this color after I had made the original card. I realized, oh, I could probably put this other color on top of it and it would make it look more blue because lilacs kind of have this bluish purplish color, right? So what I decided to do is go ahead and bring out, um, well, okay, we'll get to that color soon. We're going to do the leaves now. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, I'm just taking Lucky Clover here and we're doing the uh, leaves as well. And I'm kind of just blending on the leaves like it already has the detail it's not very raised um, it's kind of there we're, and we're just putting a little bit of color over it just for them to show up and we're going to use twisted citron to give it a little bit more uh, vibrancy and a little bit more um, highlights onto the leaves and there we go we have that done and this is the color blueprint sketch really brings out some of these colors here and you'll see that the petals start to rise, or you could see them a lot better, I guess I should say. And just that little bit of blue helps highlight this 
beautiful flower. I love lilacs. They're really pretty and they always smell really good. Um, they remind me of living on the farm when I was a kid. Okay, and now here's the pop. Here is what it takes. We're going to take this metallic silver and we're just going to pounce it onto this. And wow, look at that. It is really, really showing the highlights here. You have that blue and that purple behind this. It looks amazing once this dries down. It looks so good, you guys. I just can't even describe how good uh, this card looks. It's really, really pretty. And so we're gonna, we just put a little bit more silver on here just to get everything nice and covered. And remember, this is gonna dull a little bit as it dries. Now we're gonna take the gold and we're gonna ink blend this onto the flowers. So we got a little bit of silver, we got a little bit of gold, we got some greens, some blues, and some purples. All, all the pretty colors are here. And so we're just putting a little bit more gold on here just to get a couple more highlights here, nothing crazy. And seriously, this is not hard, you guys. Like, just do it. We're gonna take some white gouache here. We're gonna mix in a little bit of water with this to make it runny so that we can do some ink splattering here. I'm gonna spray a little more water and mix that up. Spray a little more water because it was a little too thick. And we're gonna take the brush and just bam, 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 all over this. And I really liked how this came out. I really like how the splattering really brings out the flower and also kind of dulls down the black because there was a lot of black. We're gonna take the sentiment and cut this out of some white card stock. I just have some scraps here that I'm from making another card and I'm just gonna cut that out. And I'm gonna actually cut this out three times and we are going to um, stack them up uh, one by one. There's three words here, they're all separate. So we're kind of just doing our thing here. We're gonna take a little bit of glue, stack this up on the first one. So that would be two there. And then we're gonna take that last one once we get all of this even, you always want to use liquid glue with this process if you have small dyes because it helps, um, you know, you can move the dye around if you need to. All right, so we're going to get that third one here and place that on top. And then we're done with that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this card base down a little bit more, but before that, we are gonna place some more silver splatter on this. I kind of felt like it just needed it. I don't know why. Um, it looked great as it was, but I thought maybe I could use a little more, a little more shine to it. It's not a lot, but it's enough to make a difference, I think. So there we go. We have all that splatter there. We're gonna clean this up and we're gonna cut the card panel down. And this is where I kind of mess up, not bad. But I like to cut this down to four by five and a quarter, and I'm crazy, and I like to cut off each side just because I'm crazy. So I get the four inch right, but then when I go to do the longer side of this, for some reason, it was already at five and a quarter. I don't know why I didn't leave it there, but I actually cut it down to five. So it's a four by five card. And when I go to put this onto the card base is when I realize, oh man, I, I don't have this cut right. It looks weird. So I'm gonna take my trimmer out here again, the Tim Holtz uh, rotary trimmer here, which I love. It's a pretty great tool. I've been using it for a while. And we're just gonna cut down this card base a little bit just to make everything look even. Um, there we go, like it's perfect. Now we're gonna take some foam tape and place that onto the back of this watercolor paper. And we'll put the last piece on there and then we'll remove the backing so that we can place uh, the card panel onto the card base. Before I do that, I'm just taking a piece of um, like tape here, like post-it note and sticking it inside so that that stays closed so I can get this down pretty even. Will my head show up? Does my head show up? Nope, it doesn't, and I get it on even. Not for sure how that's even possible, but it's possible. Okay, now we're gonna take the glue and we're just gonna place these down onto um, the card panel here, and we're gonna be done. I'm just doing it directly onto the card. 
Um, nothing crazy here. No foam tape. These are too small to put foam behind. I, I, I wouldn't, I couldn't do that. So we're going to place these down and that's the end of the card. You guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. Thank you to Simon says stamp for inviting me over to the family and adopting me to be a part of it. I really appreciate that too. And make sure you click the links down in the description so you can go find the latest release. I did put a block on this so that it would stay. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. You all have a great week, a great weekend whenever you're watching this. And wow, look at that. It's beautiful. Thank you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.